Hi, so today I'm going to be filming a huge, massive Florida, Disney slash Florida haul. Um, I have just got back from Walt Disney World and Universal in Florida and I have done a lot of shopping. Disclaimer, I saved up my 21st birthday money um, for this trip so that I could buy loads of stuff while I was over there. So yeah, they're all currently surrounded me in different piles. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna start with the stuff that I bought in Disney first and then go on to the rest of the thing. The first things that I bought were these ears, which I'm gonna wear throughout this video because they're so cute. These are the rose gold, they're the new rose gold ones, they're the ones that are glittery and then sequiny. Um, and I pretty much wore these for the full trip. I bought them the first day that we went into the Disney parks and yeah, I've worn them ever since. I think they were $30. Um, I've got the price for most things. There's just some things I don't know the prices for, but yeah, these are about $30. The next things that I got was this key ring, which I really, really liked. I bought key rings when I went to Paris, so I thought like I needed to build, buy another key ring. So I got this rose gold one that is mini ears. Um, this was $14.99. $14 and yeah, I'm just gonna clip this onto my car keys. I thought it was really cute. I love rose gold and it matches my ears. So I got that. Um, the next things were kindly bought for me by Connor because I'd said I was, wasn't buying them and he said he was gonna buy them for me. So they are actually the Disney Park, wow. <laughs> the Disney Parks Pandora and it is these rings I've actually got them on the two rings I did show these in my vlogs which if you haven't watched them they will already be up or some of them will already be up by now but it is this Mickey and Minnie ring so if I take them off you can see that the Mickey ring is a plain Mickey by itself and the Minnie ring is just like mini ears and a bow and then they fit together to make the cutest little rings so i think they were 55 and 65 dollars or 60 and 65 dollars i think it came to about 125 ish for them both so that is cute i love pandora and the little boxes that these come in as well with the rose gold and the disney parks pandora little thing at the back are so so cute so thank you to connor for those the next thing is something i really wanted and i was really really struggling to find in my size i felt like i couldn't go and not buy a spirit jersey but i wanted one that i could actually wear loads so i wanted the black and white one but hardly anywhere had it and then when they did have it they only had it in massive sizes i ended up getting a small um because the medium fit me but it was quite oversized so I felt like I couldn't wear it as much as this one that actually fits right. So I just got the plain black one that says the established thing on the back. And then it says Walt Disney World on the back. And I just got a small, um, like I said. And this was $64.99, I think. Doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure it was $64.99. And I feel like I'm going to live in this when it gets to the winter. Then bought myself a new mug for work because I bought myself one when we went to Paris and I've had that now for ages. So I picked up a new one and the one I picked up was this Bell mug. So it has Bell on one side and then on the back it says Bell looking for adventure and it's red, just plain red inside. But this is a really nice size mug. I always end up leaving half of a cup of tea at work because I don't get a chance to drink it before it goes cold. And this is like a, not a small mug but it's smaller than my other one so and that was 13.99 this was technically from disney springs we went to the t-rex restaurant which if you go to florida book the t-rex restaurant and go because the food was amazing and the whole restaurant you'll be able to see it in my vlogs is unreal um and me and my mum got cocktails and if you bought cocktails you got a glass um with your cocktail so this is the glass and I think this is cute because it's like a little memorabilia one as well. So this is the cocktail glasses and it just says T-Rex Orlando on it. So I technically didn't pay for this, but I technically did because I got a cocktail. Um, but yeah, T-Rex Orlando glass. So I'm going to use that for probably not cocktails, probably just pop while I'm here. Um, the final thing I got from the Disney parks, I actually bought on the last day just before we were leaving. We had to check our bags into Disney Springs and we went in the world of Disney shop and I've been looking at these for all the holiday, but they were in like glass cabinets, which made me think they were going to be really, really expensive. Um, this actually ended up being, let me have a look, 
um, and it's the Disney Parks collaboration with whatever this brand is. I'm not sure what it is, but this is sterling 18 karat rose gold and I wanted it to wear with this necklace, so I needed to check it hung a little bit lower, which it does, but it is just a rose gold and it's a mini head with a rose gold mini bow and it is literally adorable. It sort of sits about here, so they look really cute together and I was really happy that I ended up getting that because, again, something that you can't just buy um, because it's one of the Disney Park exclusives. So that's everything that I bought from Disney. Then from Universal, I didn't actually buy anything for myself. We bought these, um, which were the refillable drinks, co the Coca-Cola Freestyle. Um, they're about $17 and you buy them and then you can fill them up for the full day for free. Um, obviously, you get the cup. So this just has Universal on it. It's got Rip Ride Rocket. Um, Islands of Adventure sign, Volcano Bay and the Universal Studios sign. So that's nice. I'm going to keep this in my room now to drink water from. And the only other thing I bought from Universal was actually a present for Kay, which I can show you because I'm giving her it today um, from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter because Kay loves Harry Potter. Um, I also got these that she asked me to get, which are from Sephora. So I'll just show you these because they're in the bag as well. This is the Sephora Hemp Mousse Mask, which she's bought when she went to Paris and loved it. And the Sephora Green Clay Mask, um, not sure how much they were, but those. And then I picked her this, which it was such a difficult decision, but I wanted to get her something that you couldn't just get anywhere else. Um, so I got this t-shirt, which says The Wizarding World of Harry Potter Diagonale Universal Studios Orlando on it. Um, whether she wears it to bed or as a lounge t-shirt or as a normal t-shirt, whatever. But I thought that was cute. And I'm pretty sure... Oh, I've ripped the price off, but I think it was 27 99 I got all that in a small um, because they didn't look massive. So that was everything from the pack. So now we're on to everything else. Some of this was from the mall and some of it was from the outlets. And some was just from like random shops that we'd order about. So we'll get started I think I'm going to do makeup first. So I'm going to start with Walmart because that is the first place that I bought makeup. We went in there to get some food and I bought some makeup. Um, I had a full list on my phone of things I wanted. Um, the first thing on there was the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, I got the shade Soft Beige um, and I've used this and I absolutely love it. So I was really glad I picked that up. Then also picked up the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I also got this in light beige um, for under my eyes. And this is unreal. You can actually buy this in the UK off Beauty Bay, I think, but it's always out of stock. And this was literally $2 and it is unbelievable. So was buzzing about that. I then got the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, which I feel like anybody who is from the UK and goes to America wants to get. Um, this was about $14. Uh, it smells unreal. So I'm really excited use it and this was actually from cvs not um walmart but they gave me a sample of this in ulta and i used it and i loved it so i thought i needed to buy the full size i've actually got it on at the minute it's the milani highly rated 10 in 1 volume mascara uh, i got it in black i think this was 9.99 but literally unreal like my lashes love it so got those from walmart Moving on to Ulta, which I spent way too much money. I was so upset because I really wanted the Juvia's Place foundation and they only do it in Ulta and they were out of any colour that was anywhere near around my colour. So I was quite sad about that. Um, I spent that much money that they gave me two free gifts. The first being this NYX um, makeup bag. It's like a flap, more like a pouch thing. I'm not really sure what you'd put in it. It seems to have space inside. Um, but I got that and then they also gave me this, which I'm currently holding everything in, this Milani. Um, makeup bag which came with the little sample of the highly rated mascara which I've been using and loving so moving on to what I actually bought in Ulta which I've put in this makeup bag the first thing I bought this at the checkout because it was on offer is the yes to grapefruit brightening vitamin c glow boosting unicorn peel off mask which looks like that and I'm pretty sure if I've gone by the seat it was £2.39 or $2.39. So I got that to give that a try. I also bought this at checkout because they had it on there. This is the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh up to eight hour multitasking spray. This seems a bit like Fix Plus. You can kind of use it for anything. And this was $10. And I have used a little bit of that while we were away as well. 
And I picked this up, which I know you can get in the UK, but I've wanted it for ages and never bought it. So while I was there, I thought, I'm just going to buy it. It was the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I got the colour Warm Nude. And this was $39. So I'm pretty sure that maybe works out more expensive than it was in the UK. But for some reason, I've wanted it and never bought it. So I just bought it while I was there. I got a Kylie Lip Gloss, which it took me so much willpower to not just buy loads of Kylie Lip Kits. But I don't even really wear lipstick that much, so it would have been pointless. This lip gloss is in Diva and it was $16. It's like a nudie kind of pinky colour. I thought this would just lay a lovely over lipsticks and I have worn it while we were away and it was lovely. Then got the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Mascara. I meant to get the Lights Camera Lashes, but I accidentally picked up the waterproof one, which was $23. Um... This has been around for ages, but I asked the woman in Ulta which mascaras were good because they were one thing that was on my list that I really wanted. And she said she really liked this one on Benefit. So I thought I'd buy this one because I can buy the Benefit one back home. Um, so yeah, I got that. I bought three brushes from Morphe in Ulta. The first one is the M506 Tapered Mini Blender Brush, which is just like a little crease brush. I bought the M518 Crease Fluff Brush looks like that and then i bought the m510 pro round blender brush which is the one that everyone uses for highlight and both of the eye brushes were seven and the highlighter brush was nine dollars so they were a bargain i could have bought loads of brushes but i didn't really need them so i just got those ones that i wanted to get finally got my hands on the tart shape tape which i got in the color light which was 27 dollars i was gonna buy a few of these and then I thought, do you know what? It's pointless buying loads. Um, if I really, really like it, I can get it online from certain places. So I thought I would just buy the one. And I've only used it once, but it was really, really good. And I really liked it. I also bought this Morphe lipstick in the colour Whipped, which I'm pretty sure was also $9. And I wore this quite a lot on holiday and I loved it. The packaging is so cute. And it just looks like this. It's like a nudie kind of brownie pinky nude. And for $9, the formula of these are unreal. You'll see I actually bought another one when I went to the Morphe shop. And the final two things. Oh, no, there's three things in here. Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, which I feel like everybody buys. Which was $7.99. And the bronzer was $8.99. So this is the blush, which everyone knows. And then I got the Baked Bronzer in Dolce, which is number nine. Which is like a shimmery bronzer. And I don't own a shimmery bronzer. So I thought they would both be really nice. And then the final thing that I bought from Ulta was the NYX Can't Stop. Oh, no, it's not Can't Stop. It's, not, it's HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. And this was $6. And I got this to cream contour with because um, I've never really cream contoured. So I bought this in the shade CW07. Um, and yeah, really like that. So that's everything from Ulta. I then went to Sephora. I went in two Sephoras. I went in one in the mall in JCPenney and one that was just in the mall. Um, and I don't know where I bought what things, but <laughs> anyway, I signed up to be a beauty insider and I got this as a free gift. I got the decision between this and a Kat Von D makeup set, but I picked this, which is the Drunk Elephant Beauty Insider Sephora, which you get a cleanser and a moisturiser in. So looking forward to trying those. The main thing that I wanted from Sephora was um, face masks because everybody raves about the face masks. Um, I didn't go mental. I only bought um, five because it was if you bought four, you got one free. So I picked up the Shea Lip Mask, the Pomegranate Eye Mask, and then I got the Green Tea Face Mask, the Lychee face mask and the coconut face mask they were six dollars each but i got one of them for free and i then also picked this up which is the unifying and brightening pink clay mask which has got four uses in it and that was eight dollars and then the final thing i picked up which was 19 dollars, is the tartiest pro glow to go i really wanted the big one of these that comes with like three bronzers and three highlights but i have so much bronzer and highlighter and it was like 40 dollars, and i thought it's pointless so i picked up this um which is the little mini one and it comes with two highlighters and a bronzer oops and a little mirror so that smells unreal <laughs> so i was excited about that and i thought for 19 dollars that that was really 
good so that was my sephora purchases final beauty products were from morphe the morphe shop was in the florida mall and i was very excited except disappointed because jeffrey star jawbreaker had come out they had had to get rid of the concealers and i really wanted the concealers so i'm gonna have to order those offline but i did pick up two jeffrey star things the first being the new summer velour liquid lip scrub in lemon sucker which I haven't never bought one of the lip scrubs, but I've always really wanted one. So I was glad to pick this up. I think it was $12. I then picked up another Morphe lipstick because I liked that other one so much. These are the cream. Oh, this one's a matte. The other one was a cream lipstick. This one's in the shade Honey, which to me looked pretty similar to kind of like a Velvet Teddy kind of colour. Um, so I'm looking forward to giving that a try because I've been getting more into normal lipsticks than liquid lipsticks at the minute. I then picked up the sponge, the Highlight and Contour Beauty Sponge. Everybody talks about this, so I picked that up while I was there. That was $8 and the lipstick was 9 And then I finally got the Morphe Jeffree Star brushes. These were actually on sale because they had 20% off them. So they should have been $49, but I got 20% off. This is basically just the bag with the brushes inside. And I was very excited when I saw that they had that in the Morphe store. Move on to some clothes and some random bits. The first thing is I bought this, which ended up being such a godsend for the vlogs. It's a waterproof phone case, so you put your phone in it and then you can take it in the water. But I did some uh, vlogging with these in the water and I think it was about $11. So it comes in handy, it was very good. I went to Tilly's, which I'd never even heard of, but they had a offer on pants, five pairs for $16. And I wanted some seamless ones to wear under my gym leggings. So I just grabbed a load of seamless pants um, in different things. These have got some quite funky prints on them, <laughs> these ones. And then I got two pairs that were lacy because the um, seamless ones, I didn't really like the patterns of the other seamless ones. So I just got two um, lacy pairs. So they were $16 for those. I got those from the outlets as well. Everything that I'm about to show you, I actually got from the outlets. I bought this Nike pair of shorts. I've been after a pair of shorts for the gym for ages. Um, and these were Nike ones. And they were $29.99 down from $40. So they're just a black pair of Nike shorts. But they actually have the undershort in them. Like the skin kind of undershort, which I like. Because that makes me feel like I'm not going to mob them out for everyone. Um, and yeah, they were exactly what I was looking for. So I was glad about those. Then went in Under Armour in the outlets and bought a few things. So I got two of these vests because my gym vests are all really, really big for me at the minute. Um, so I got these. Oh, that's inside out. But basically, it's just a plain white strappy um, vest, which was $20.97. Oh, actually, I don't think they were that much money, were they? No, they was $10.49 for this one. And then I also bought the same one in grey as well to match with my leggings which is also inside out because I've tried them on and then I got this last one because it should have been $24.99 and they had 30% off and this is just a black cropped like a um, holy breathable material um, racer back little vest so I was happy about those because I really needed new gym top then went into Calvin Klein in the outlets and got a really good deal on some things so the first thing I bought was a t-shirt which I've been wanting one of these for ages. And this is the t-shirt. It's just a white one and it just says Calvin Klein jeans on it. And it's I got this in a medium and it was $9.99. So that's such a good deal because it should have been $29.50. So for $9.99, I was excited about that. When I worked out how much money I'd saved in the outlets, I had saved over $700. So, I mean, I was excited about that. I then got a new matching... Uh, Calvin Klein underwear set so I got this blue with the red on it so this is the thong I got both of these in a medium and this is the bralette top they ended up being really good prices they were the thong was 12 and the bralette was 16.80 so buzzing about that I then saw these which I loved which was a pair of denim shorts so just a denim blue pair of shorts um, and then on the back they have Calvin Klein thing I got these in a waist 27 and they're a mid-rise weekend short is what they said um and these were 14.99 down from 70 um so I was buzzing about that 
And the final thing I've already worn, which is a t-shirt dress that was $29.99 down from 70. And it is just a black t-shirt dress that says Calvin Klein jeans on it. Just a straight down t-shirt dress. So loved that as well. I think I'm going to put this on. Um, I'm going out for tea with Kate, so I think I'm going to put this on today. I went to Kate Spade in the outlets and got a really, really good deal. I managed to get this phone case, which I have the iPhone XS Max. And it's like a glitter gradient phone case that should have been $45. And I got it for $14.40, which I was buzzing about. And my favourite thing is I got this handbag that should have been $259. And I got it for... 59.76 i saved 189 dollars 24 cents on this bag and i literally walked in the shop and fell in love with it um so it is this which is a little if i can get it up right crossbody red little bag and it has this little thing on the front chain on the front and it opens up like this and you can actually unattach this strap and just use this little chain as a strap if you wanted to use it as like an evening bag which i absolutely love it i've used it a few times on holiday already and i'm yeah in love with it and just bought one thing from bath and body works outlet i got this ohahu coconut sunset shower gel this was literally three dollars i think um i didn't want to buy loads because of weight in the case but i could have bought loads in there but i bought this and it smells unreal and my mum also got one so we twinned on that the last things I've got to show you are Victoria's Secret, which I spent a fortune in Victoria's Secret. We walked into the outlet shop and it was carnage. <laughs> there was stuff everywhere. There was so much stuff. There was so much discount off everything. Um, so I bought quite a lot. I'm not going to go through the prices of all this um, just because there's a lot and it's going to take a long time. So um, the most I paid for anything was $24. Um, dollars. And the pants and the bra, the pants were about $3 and the bras are about 8 so just as a thing. So I got two pairs of pants. The first is just this red spotty with a bit of like a leopard printy kind of pair. And I also got this blue lacy pair, which has like a really thick um, waistband. I got two bralettes from Pink um, that are like a velvety kind of bralette, cross at the front, fasten at the back. I got the black one. And I also got the baby pink one. I bought three normal bras. The first being this, which is one that fastens at the front. And it has the Victoria's Secret straps. And it's like a bar at the back. And in this lovely mint green colour, which I really liked. Then got this bra, which I really liked the look of. This has got a slight little bit of padding in it. And it's like a terracotta kind of colour with some rose goldy sparkle on it. And then it's sort of like a seamless kind of um, really thick see, band. But it's like a seamlessy one. So you shouldn't be able to see it through the back of your t-shirts. And I then got this bra, which is another one that fastens at the front. And it looks like this. It's this lovely lilac colour. Fastens at the front. And then it has this gorgeous um, detail at the back, which... I was very happy about it. And this is like a completely um, not padded. It's just got underwire bra. I bought this actually from actual Victoria's Secret in the mall, not the outlets, but it was on sale. And it's this little gym hoodie that I bought. So it's a cropped hoodie. It says Victoria down one arm in pink and sport down the other arm. But it's just a cropped hoodie, I thought, for going to the gym. This would be great. And I think that was about $27. I actually have another bra here, but I'd worn this one, so it was in the back. This is just a purple, sort of like a really soft bra that just says Victoria's Secret and has a bit of a leafy pattern on it. Final few bits are clothes. I got these classic pant joggers, which are black with red and um, black and white down the side. They're the ones that are cuffed at the bottom. Uh, these were $24.99, I know that, and they have pink on the tag. Also got this top, which is also for the gym. It's a Victoria Sport. It's like a cropped, sort of not really cropped, sort of to your leggings um, t-shirt. And it's got like the sparkly Victoria Sport on it. This pair of pyjama shorts, which I think were about $4, seriously. Um, they say Victoria's Secret on them. And then they're just the checkered little shorts. They didn't have any tops that matched, which I was quite upset about. But I was happy to get the shorts. 
Last pair of joggers I got, which are black. These were also about $24.99 and they say pink all the way down the um, side in white and they're just plain and these are the skinny joggers so they have the flat earth cuffs at the bottom and the final thing i got because i've been wanting a new one of these because i've had one for ages is one of these like pullover um sweater jumper things this is a medium but it's actually massive so this is a dark gray and then on the back it says pink in this yellow with the yellow there and i really really like that so that is all from the haul i hope you have enjoyed it and if you have please give it a thumbs up make sure you watch the vlogs if you haven't because i really enjoyed filming them and i hope you all enjoyed them too and i will see you all in my next video bye